Hi everyone, I am Max Nachutin, a Asana Team Bibit Cloud Fresh. Today I am going to demonstrate you how to set up Portfordos in Asana. Portfordos are a Maxel tool for managing multiply projects, offering a high level overview of progress and performance. Let's get started. Firstly, brief introduction to Portfordos. So, Portfordos and Asana enable you to oversee and control several projects simultaneously. They provide a unified view of all your projects, making it easy to monitor their statuses, track progress and gain valuable insights at glance. Step 1. Initiating a portfolio. First, let's create a portfolio. To do this, navigate to the portfolio section on the left side of your Asana dashboard. Then, click New Portfolio button and choose a name that accurately represents its purposes, such as a marketing campaigns or product development. In my case, it will be marketing campaigns. Then you can add uh, your projects or key mate from the next screen, but I will go to the portfolio and show you step two, including projects in your portfolio. After setting your portfolio, you can click at Add Fork button and uh, then you can find the uh, immediate uh, for your portfolio in the search tab. Choose uh, one of the options Asana provides you or even create new projects or new portfolio. Let me add some projects here by the names. Here it is. I will add several ones. So adding relevant projects to your portfolio helps you to consolidate all related work in one place. Step 3. Exploring your portfolio. With your portfolio ready, you can view it in various ways. The default setting is the list view, which displays your all projects in a list format. This view allows you to seek information about each project, such as status updates, task progress, due dates, uh, uh, and uh, who is the owner of the project. Also, you will see all the CASPA fields uh, you will create inside the portfolios, uh, but uh, we will have it in our future steps. Step 4. Utilizing the timeline view. The timeline view is a crucial aspect of Asana portfolios. It allows you to visualize key milestones across your projects. Got says the timeline view, you need to click at the same tab, within your portfolio. This perspective helps you to understand project scandals and identify potential bottlenecks. You can adjust milestones to ensure they align with your overall timeline, making it easy to manage scandals. Step 5. Tracking progress with dashboards. Dashboards in Asana portfolios provide powerful visualization tools to monitor the health and statuses of your projects. To across the dashboard, navigate to the dashboard tab within your portfolio. Here you can create custom charts to track key metrics like budget, time spent, and project progress. These charts can help you identify and strains, monitor project statuses, and report to seeing your leadership efficient. Dashboards bring beta to life, offering real-time clarity to action or insights directly within the portfolio tab. To create charts at the dashboard, Tab, you need to click at a chart tab, then uh, choose immediate for you chart style. Also, in uh, the portfolio level in Asama, you can report on tasks, projects, or portfolios. Then you need to choose immediate data, some specific data for this chart, and then you can also add the uh, needed amount. Uh, or needed stack of filters. Step 6. Implementing custom fields. Custom fields are effective tools for tracking unique data points across your projects. To add custom fields to your portfolio, click the Customize button and select Add Work. You can create fields for budget, priority, or any other metrics relevant to your work. You can choose uh, different field types. Uh, uh, it's the same field types as you can as you have uh, inside the projects in Asana. 
a word in Conley ID type of the field. Also, you can use uh, ready, ready custom fields from your library or provided by Asana. Additionally, you can use rollups to recreate data from custom fields across multiply projects. This feature helps you to see the total budget overall progress or any other cumulative data points across your project. Step 7. Monitoring progress in the progress tab. The progress tab in Asana portfolios is essential for keeping track of the overall status of the portfolio. In this step, you will see the chain of your status updates, which provides you a snapshot of health of your portfolio. These steps allow you to keep stakeholders informed with up-to-date information of uh, how projects are advancing and where attention may be needed uh, to address the potential issues inside the portfolio. Then, there is also a workload feature inside the SANA portfolio. And about this feature, you can find our video in YouTube and where I uh, describe all the possibilities of uh, this feature. And also, there is messages step when you can create threads and uh, where you will also receive all status updates of your portfolios. And then you can discuss it with uh, all members of your portfolios, share it with other teammates, involve someone, and so on. So, setting up and using portfolios in Asama is a great way to stay organized and to keep track of your project's progress. By following these steps, you will be able to manage multiply projects efficiently and ensure nothing falls through the cracks. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget, like and subscribe for more Asana tips and tutorials. See you next time.